So to give an example, we have a 28 week preterm baby on day 4, 1.2 kilogram birth weight. The total fluid intake is 120 ml per kilo per day, a bit restricted because of PDA. The baby is on 20 ml per kilo of feeds and epsal through the UAC at 0.5 ml per hour. Medications total of 15 ml per kilo per day. So including the sepsal, the total medication is 15 ml. So the lipids are 3 grams per kilo per day. 5 ml of 20% lipid is 1 gram. So 5 times 3, 15 ml. And the beta lipids, which is the multivitamin, the fat soluble vitamins is 4 ml per kilo per day. The maximum is 10 ml. So even if a baby is 2.5 kilos, you will reach that maximum dose and you shouldn't exceed that. The total here of the lipids is 19 ml including the vitamins per kilo per day. So we deduct the lipid and other infusion volume from the TPN volume all in ml per kilo per day. So 120 minus 19 plus 15 is 86 ml per kilo per day. So the 15 is infusion rate, 19 is the lipid rate. And the total parental nutrition volume of 86 times the weight of 1.2 is 103 is the total fluid in the parental nutrition. The hourly TPN rate is 103 divided by 24, 4.3 ml and the lipid rate is 1.9, uh, 19 times 1.2 divided by 24, so 0.95 ml. We usually give the lipids as a 24 hour infusion. So we calculate the required strength of dextrose needed to get the desired GIR. For example, a GIR of 7.2 milligram per kilogram per minute. Uh, we need 12% dextrose, which will be the strength of dextrose in the TPN solution. Amino acids are 3.5 grams per kilogram per day. So once we know how many grams per kilo of these components we need, we can work out how much to add in the bag of 103 ml. So 3.5 times weight, that's the actual amount of uh, amino acid we need, times 100 divided by 103, so uh, 4.06. So this same factor of 4.06 divided by 4 is 1.01 can be used for the other components to convert as well. So sodium, potassium, calcium, phosphorus are all added as per requirement and if acetate is needed, sodium chloride is substituted with sodium acetate. If sodium is high, we can use potassium acetate instead. And bicarbonate is added to Hepsal in the UAC if we need to correct the acidosis more so you can have half strength or um, weak solution or strong solution. Heparin we tend to add 0.5 units per ml of the TPN solution for central TPN. So this is how we calculate the TPN requirements. So suppose we have uh, 3.5 uh, millimoles per kilo per day of sodium, the calculation for that is exact same. So 3.5 times 1.01 will be added to the bag. Suppose the TPN volume the bag is a bigger volume, then this proportion will change. So, <clears throat> assuming the baby needs 2 millimoles per kilo per day sodium, 1.5 millimoles per kilo per day potassium, and uh, 1.5 millimoles of calcium and phosphorus each. Uh, the magnesium is 0.15 millimoles usually, and uh, this is how we calculate how much will be added of each of these electrolytes. So finally, we prescribe the pedi-trace, uh, which is uh, trace elements and the multivitamin. The TPN lipid infusion tubing should be wrapped in light proof material to avoid denaturation from light exposure. The TPN should be reconstituted under laminar flow in the pharmacy and nothing should be added once it is prepared. In resource limited settings, using amino acid and lipid separately with the infusion of dextrose and electrolytes is used sometimes, but it is not ideal because the other components are not complete. So even in resource limited settings try to use appropriate amount of TPN.